on the job hunt here at Fox News. And small businesses forced to really think out of the box in this economy. In fact, uh, they are thinking themselves right out of the stores. Total cart and kiosk transactions are expected to pass about $775 billion in last year, 2009. That's up from $608 billion about uh, 2008, a year earlier. In the next three years, non-traditional store transactions forecasted hit $1.6 trillion. Orlando Salinas is live at Ventura Mall in Miami, Florida. Good morning, Orly. Nice to see you out shopping, my yep. friend. Better you than me, by the way. Uh, kiosk business is booming, huh? What's up? It is booming. And look, uh, I'm not shopping either. We'll leave that to, to the ladies. Uh, let me tell you, uh, kiosks and carts here in the United States, Bill, there are nearly half a million of them. 425,000 is the number that's given. Uh, there are more than 100,000 shopping centers and malls in the United States. We'll move over that way, too. And this place, Aventura Mall, this ranks in the top five of all of those shopping centers in the entire United States. And they spend an awful lot of money. I think the figure is roughly about $12 billion per year spent when people buy from these uh, kiosks and these carts. It's a pretty good business in spite of the economy, maybe because of it. We shot a story. Take a look. The sound of sweet success. Alyssa's Painted Bistro makes 400 of these designer cupcakes every morning and sells almost every single one at $3 a pop. Many from this sofa-sized kiosk inside Miami's Aventura Mall. It doesn't need to be something that's a high-ticket item. You want to make sure that it's something that is budget-related that everyone can afford. Looking for something for yourself or for a gift? Today? Watches, jewelry, phones. Everybody watch this. Try this. Stay. Even matching. You name it, and it's probably being sold not only at the big box stores, but also from pint-sized kiosks and push carts. Mom and pop businesses that are seeing record numbers of first-time entrepreneurs. Average Joes, who even in this slow economy want to give it a go, but on a smaller scale. It's a great opportunity for people that might be sitting at home and have the business skills to give a new career path. What's interesting here, Bill, is you have to remember, folks may think it's one of the easiest things to do. Uh, open up a kiosk, uh, open up a, a, a cart. It's not the easiest thing, is it? <laughs> and, and I can tell you this, uh, the folks here at Aventura Mall, they love ideas. And in just about every place that you put up a kiosk, Bill, you got to meet with the management and they want to see your product. They want to see if they've got anything like it in their mall. A and in this particular mall, in spite of the economy again, Bill, they are packed. They have no more room for anybody in this mall. And I'm telling you, this is a huge mall. It is busy. It's barely just after 10 on the morning on the East Coast. And give it a couple more hours. And I'm telling you, we've been here before. This place is going to be packed. And people buzz around all these kiosks looking for great deals. You don't have to go to the big box store. You can probably cut a good deal with the mom and pop kiosk right here. That's some yep. of the best news we've heard out of Florida in some time, Arlie. Thank you for that. Sure. Orlando Salinas. Definitely true. Pick you up, right. sell stuff up something nice today, okay, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, you can check out foxnews.com. We're on the job hunt online, too. Uh, next to the what's hot button top of the page that takes you to an interactive map of the U.S. detailing all the job hunt stories we have covered so far, and there have been many. And there will continue to be a number as we look for the best opportunities out there and also where folks are hurting. So check it out online at foxnews.com.